Today I'm going to show you all an easy way of pulling a tie rod end out of a semi truck. Majority of them are inch and five sixteenths for the nut. You'll need that socket and a pair of side cutters so we can remove this nut right here. We're going to use side cutters to get the cotter pin pulled out from the nut. Real simple. Then we'll use our inch and five sixteenths. We're going to get the nut loose with an impact. Now you don't want to take it all the way off. You want something to hold it when we go to loosen it up. The trick here is you want down weight on it. For me, I'm going to hook it to a, a chain hoist. And then I'm going to hook it down here and put down pressure on the tie rod end itself from the tie rod tube. Now that we got downward pressure on it, some compression, we're going to take a hammer and we're going to hit it right here. Not on the tie rod end itself, just right here and with the pressure it'll knock it loose. When they're stubborn and won't come loose, we'll resort to a little bit of heat. Okay, we heated the top half right there between the nut where the threads are, got it glowing orange. Now we're going to take our hammer and whack in the same spot we were whacking before to see if we can get it to knock loose. That. The reason you leave the nut on the top is so it doesn't fall and crash everything else. Now we'll finish taking the nut off and we'll get everything to fall down through. Don't touch it if you put the torch to it. It may still be a little stuck, you can just pull on it and you usually fall out or tap on the top with a hammer and it'll knock it out. Okay, at this point, loosen this clamp, 15 16 nut and bolt right here. And then you can either use two pipe wrenches, one on the tube, one on the tie rod end, or a homemade tool. This is a tool I use, it's homemade, fits in a three quarter gun on one end. Slides in the tie rod end on the other. Makes getting the job done much easier. Put together just like this, and then you run the impact and spin the tie rod end right out of it. This one's being stubborn. It doesn't want to come out. We're gonna heat right here on the end. We heat all this up, it'll open up and release the tie rod end. Now that you got it out, screw your new one in, put it back in the hole, don't turn your steering wheel or nothing. You can count threads, you can measure the tape measure, but no matter what, go to the alignment shop afterwards and get the toe set. If you didn't turn your steering wheel, this side or either side shouldn't move, so set your tie rod in to fit back in the hole without moving nothing, where it slides in nice and easy. Then run your nut back down with an impact and tighten everything up. Got it. I kept torquing it. I finally got everything to, to line up. Now the cotter pin will go straight through the nut and tie rod to or tie rod in. Get it squared in there pretty and bend over the tabs.
And one up over the top, then another one down, and then you're done. You get the toast set and you're good to go. Even after lining everything back up how it originally was, it's still towed in an inch and a half. You want about eight one hundredths of an inch towed in. That's why you wanted to get it aligned after you change the parts.